Yes, hello everyone. This is teacher Micah. I am an ESL teacher for eight years now. So I decided to make this video to help those kids or students to learn something during this pandemic. Well, alam ko during this situation, nanonood lang sila, nasa bahay lang sila, nagti-TikTok, nag-YouTube or Facebook. And sana naman makatulong tong video na to um, para may malaman naman sila about sa English language. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna share my screen para ipakita ko sa inyo yung ginawa ko kanina, nagsulat na ako. So, the topic is all about this, that, these, and those. Okay, let's start with this used to refer to a person or thing that is near the speaker. Ibig sabihin, ginagamit natin ang this kapag ang isang bagay or tao ay malapit sa speaker or sa nagsasalita. Example, this is a pencil. Isang pencil malapit sa akin. So, I can say, this is a pencil. Okay, isa pa. This is a box. This is a box of face mask. Okay, next, that. Okay, so ginagamit natin ang that used to refer to a person or things that is far from the speaker. Kapag ang tao or bagay ay malayo sa nagsasalita or sa speaker. Okay. Example, yung, yung anak ko, si Alexandra, ay nasa kama ngayon. So, I can say, that is my daughter. That is my daughter. So, isang tao na malayo sa nagsasalita, that is my daughter. Okay. Kunwara itong book, Malayo sa sakin. Kunwari lang, ha? <laughs> so, we can say that is a book. That is a book. Isang bagay na malayo sa speaker. That is a book. Okay? Now, let's have these. Okay. By the way, I just want to explain the pronunciation of this and these. T-H-I-S, short sound po siya. This, this. T-H, okay. T-H-E-S-E, -E, long sound, these, these. One more time. This, these. Okay. So, okay. Let's go back. These. Used to, re used to refer to people or things that are near the speaker. Sorry, mali-mali yung pinag-type ko pala. So, ibig sabihin, kapag malapit sa nagsasalita. Two or more people or things. Ibig sabihin, this, plural tayo. Mas marami. Example. These are books. Okay? So, gagamitin natin this. Tapos, are kasi... Dalawa sila. Palaging tandaan, kapag dalawa or mahigit na bagay or tao, gagamitin natin are. Okay? These are books. Okay? Malapit. Dalawa or mas marami sa nagsasalita. These. These are books. Last, meron tayong those. Okay? So, those. Used to, refer, used to refer to people or things that are far or distant from the speaker. Okay? Disregard yun na lang yung pinagtatype ko yung naanto kasi ako kanina. Anyway, so those. Example. Uh, okay. Kunwari lang. So, those are children. Those are children. May nakikita ko mga bata sa labas. Malayo sila sa akin. So, I can say... Those are children. Okay? Another example. Sabihin na natin, kunwari, malayo tong mga colored pencil sa akin. So, I can say, those are colored pencils. 
Those are colored pencils. Okay? Yun lang po. Napakasimpleng bagay. <laughs> so, sana mo ma maintindihan and uh, ang tawag dito, um, remember nyo or tandaan nyo. Alright? So, i-review nyo lang po itong these, that, these, and those and Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and mag-comment lang kayo below kung anong mga content or lessons na gusto niyo gawin ko para makatulong sa mga chikitings niyo or sa inyong mga students. Alright? Thank you! See you again!